Hey YouTubers, Muskrat Jim here. Lately I've been getting a lot of response about a video that I recently posted on this arm extender. It's a contraption that I put together from basically nothing and it's going to allow me to do more bushcraft activities like paddle a kayak, baton wood, um, and a bunch of other things. One of my subscribers suggested that I put an instructional video on how to put this together and load it up on the Instructables website. And another one of my subscribers really wanted to know the details on how I put this together so that he could build one for himself. So anyway, if you haven't yet seen the video where I describe the unit, I highly suggest that you watch that first and then you can watch this one. Um, the link for the original video is right here. So I'll assume that you've seen it and we'll just carry on. Okay, so as I said, it's made from practically nothing. So what we have is a tomato can. It's about three inches across and a 12 inch length of half inch threaded rebar. A couple of half inch washers to fit on the rebar. A few half inch nuts. A couple of three quarter inch screws. Well actually three three quarter inch screws. Two wooden discs. I'll explain those as we assemble it. And two grommets. And a water bottle. Now you want a water bottle that's got some good strength to it, like this one. You don't want a water bottle like that. Because this water bottle will be the basis of the tapered stump socket. And you also need some hard foam to um, sort of contour this bottle to your stump. What I did is I just used strips from some old padding that came out of a computer case. And for the strap, this time I'm going to use the strap from a laptop bag. The last time I made a strap out of paracord. And then optionally you can paint it with some metal paint. Okay, so let's get started and I'll show you how it all goes together. Okay, so first of all, I drilled a half inch hole in the bottom of this can to fit this rebar. So that'll come up through the hole there. Next, I cut out a couple of these discs. Now these are three inches or just slightly below three inches and it'll fit right inside the can. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to force one of these half inch nuts into this hole. Now it's a force fit. As you can see it's not going to fit in by itself. So what I have to do is I have to put this down on a hard surface and hammer that in. Okay so I hammered that in and it's good and snug in there. And now what we can do is we can thread the threaded rod onto this disc. Now that nut is actually a lock nut, so it's got a nylon ring. All we can do is just hand tighten that. Okay, so now that I've got that screwed in, I'm just going to put that into the can and continue on with the construction. So there you can see the wooden block is at the bottom and the rod is sticking out. But what I want to do now is put these three screws into the bottom of the can so that it securely holds onto that wooden block. So there, now you can see that the three screws 
are in there and they're securing that wooden block on the bottom. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to loosen this up a bit. I'm going to get a pair of vice grips, clamp this, and then give it a twist just to tighten that nut a little more. And then I can tighten this down and secure that with a wrench. Okay, so now we'll move on to the socket construction. Okay, as I said before, you need a water bottle, like a plastic water bottle, that is really quite sturdy. Like, I don't know how thick this really is, but it's um, thick enough that you can't crush it with your hand up at the top. And what we need to do now is cut it the right length so it'll fit just below the edge of this can. So I'm just going to mark it here roughly and I can adjust it later. So what we have to do is cut the water bottle like that to use this part. Now it has to be able to fit the end of your stump. So as you can see there it's not a good fit. It's a little bit too tight. So what I have to do is make this a little bit shorter so that my arm will fit in it like it does on this other one. It seats right down at the bottom. Okay, so there we go. Nice, fairly smooth edges all the way around, nothing that's gonna scratch. Now what we do is take the other disc, the one with the inch and a half hole drilled in it, and we put it over the cap, just like that. Now I'm gonna take this little plastic ring off so that the uh, set the wooden block will ride a little bit higher, there, just like that. Now that could have been a little bit snugger. And what I think I'm going to do is I'll wrap some electrical tape around here, and then I'll force this on because I don't want that to be able to fall off. Like when you remove your arm from the can, I don't want it to pull the pop bottle out. So I'm going to get some so I'm going to get some electrical tape and um, fix that up. Oh yeah, perfect. Good and snug now. Great. So anyway, that'll go in there just like that. Now, before we get carried too far away, I have to drill some half-inch holes into the side of the can so that I can put these grommets in place and then fasten a shoulder strap. So I'll do that and I'll get back to you. Okay, so I've drilled the two half inch holes on opposite sides. And now I'll be able to fasten the grommets in there. Now something I wanted to mention about these holes, um, the position of the holes is kind of important. Um, when you put the rebar through the bottom of the can like this, and you take a look at it, you'll notice that the rebar isn't perfectly vertical. It's actually leaning to one side. And that's actually a good thing because with a prosthetic device, like a lower arm, it should really curl inwards towards the body as opposed to being straight out from the body. So what you have to do is, is then hold this in place and roll it around until it looks like it's curling inwards and then you want to put 
a grommet on the top and a grommet on the bottom. Okay, so I've got the brass grommets in. Now, if you don't have grommets, I would imagine that you could use a pop rivet gun to fashion something here that you could attach a D-ring to or something. But I don't have a pop rivet gun, but I do have grommets, so that's why I use grommets. So it's all about using what you have. Okay, so now what we want to do is put this socket inside the can. Now, as you can see, there's a bit of play between the can and the pop bottle. Now, what you want to do is take some of this thin, hard foam and cut it to the right size so that it can wedge down in between the can and the bottle until it's nice and snug. And then you can also use some more of this foam to line the inside of the bottle to fit your stump a little better. A little more comfortable. And another thing I did is I cut out plugs so that it'll fit right into the, the mouth of the bottle to keep my stump from being forced out the mouth of the bottle. So all in all that gives a really comfortable fit. You'll have to use trial and error to get it right. And then at some point you'll have a nice comfortable fit. Another thing to take into consideration is where your elbow bends. If you want to have the most flexibility with this device, you'll want the can to be lower than the bend of your elbow. Otherwise, the can will be pushing right into your bicep. And another thing to consider is the length of this rod. Now, when I bought it, it was 12 inches, which is plenty long. So what you want to be able to do is rest both of your elbows on the table, like this, and then sort of make a fist with your good hand. And the height of your fist, that's where you should cut the rebar off, so that they'll both be roughly the same length. Since I'm going to be using this primarily for push-ups, I'm going to want it to be a little bit shorter because my hand will be open when I'm using it. So I'm going to have to cut off roughly five or six inches. I'm just cutting this foam to a taper to fit the bottom of the cup where my stump is narrower. curl down the bottom of the cup and it'll fit nicely, nice and snug around the end of my stump. And this thin piece will wrap around the outside of a cup like that. And that will slide right into the can and it will be nice and snug. Another thing you can do to increase your comfort level is to wear a sock. And to make the fit even more secure, you can wear a Velcro strap across the top to hold the other two straps in place. Now what makes this really handy are the end pieces that you can screw on to the end of this threaded rod. I made this one just out of some 5 8 plywood. There's one of those half inch threaded nuts. 
and these are U-bolts, just small U-bolts with wing nuts on the back. And there's also a hole there, it's a little bit bigger than half inch so that it'll slide over the threaded rod. The idea here is that you can slide this in place and then thread it there. until it's secure and then the U-bolts can be used to hold something in line with the threaded rod like a fishing pole. Now 90 degrees to this is the other block that I made. Now this block again it's just 5 8 plywood with a three-quarter inch hole drilled through the center and one of those half inch threaded nuts pounded into the hole and this has larger u-bolts on both sides and it gets threaded on like that and then what I can do is I can secure another piece of equipment through these U-bolts just by loosening or tightening them up and I can use it to baton wood. Um, I suspect I can use it to paddle a kayak and uh, I guess all I have to do is just think of some other things that I can use it for. So there you have it. It's an inexpensive prosthetic device for the bush for someone that's missing the lower part of their arm below the elbow. So Ron, I hope this helped you out. If you have any more questions, just give me a holler. Alright, this is Muskrat Jim, signing out.